I'm Gershon Cohen. In 2010, Michael Fishback and I co-founded the Great Whale Conservancy, a program of the Earth Island Institute, to advocate for the protection of the world's great whales. The short film you are about to see was taken by Michael in 2000 as he captained his ponga in the Sea of Cortez, where he observes whale behavior and helps catalog the identity and movements of blue, finback, and humpback whales. The rare footage you are about to see made this a very special day. It was a typical gorgeous morning in the Sea of Cortez. We were on our way to an area where I had hoped to find blue whales, accompanied by hundreds of bow-riding bottlenose dolphins in mirror flat water. Suddenly, there was an unusual splashing in the water close to a mile away. I decided to leave the dolphins and investigate. As we approached the area where I had seen the splashing, we found ourselves close to a large pot of orcas, dispersed but moving at good speed and all in the same direction. They were porpoising intensely and I soon figured out why. A brutus whale was just ahead of the pod and they were in hot pursuit. I knew I was about to witness a rarely observed event, an attempt by killer whales to kill a great whale. Oh my God, they're going to attack it. It's a Brutus whale. It's a Brutus whale and they're going to attack it. I swear. It's a Brutus whale in the middle of orcas. Unbelievable. We set a track parallel to the 20 or so orcas as they closed the gap. There were males and females, but the females were on point with the males hanging back. The female orcas were now right on the whale's tail, and every time it came up for air, they erupted out of the water to bite the tail, the caudal peduncle, and the whale's pectoral fins. The Brutus whale knew it was in serious trouble. At one point, it even tried to use our boat to fend off the attacking orcas. Holy shit! Scared the hell out of me! <laughs> I had to stop the whale. The boat. Four females consistently surfaced just to the left of the whale when it broke the water line. The coordination and timing was incredible as they worked closely with each other and in tandem with the other females. Oh, they got him. They got him. They're, they're after him now. After a long, hard chase and having suffered many small wounds, the Brutus whale was exhausted. The orcas were clearly very tired as well. It was hard to believe that 20 of the greatest predators in the world could only bring death to their prey by a thousand cuts. Gosh, look at those things. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Um, you want to crank up the boat? No. Nope. Nope. Oh my gosh. I know. He's right on top of the whale. But the orcas had a plan B. As the exhausted Brutus whale came to the surface to breathe, one of the females actually climbed on top of the whale's head as it tried to break waterline. The orca writhed around for a few seconds on top of the Brutus whale's blowhole, forcing it below the surface, and then the fight was over. Yes. There's another orca. Here we go, fans. Watch it right there. He's got a piece of meat in his mouth. That was a piece of Brutus whale meat. There's another one right there. 
The males then quickly reappeared with two young orcas. Then the whole pod began to show up at the surface with chunks of whale meat in their mouths. There's Tom with a piece of the Brutus whale meat. The kill has been done. There is the meat, and here are the perpetrators. Right there. That's made Pete hungry. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, oh, yeah, everywhere. The sea became covered with an oily sheen. For the better part of the next nine hours, we sat with our engine off over the site of this kill. The orcas made hundreds of passes by our small skiff. Males with their huge dorsal fins torpedoed directly under the boat. Females rolled upside down under us. Tails whacked the water and orca after orca swam next to us in the calm water in slow motion, blowing bubbles. She's on the prop. She's on the prop. One memorable female put the bottom of the engine transom in her mouth and then came right up to me and from less than a foot away stared into my eyes and gently opened her mouth. It's like she just wants to know us. Right Look at that. He's just right there at the surface. Open up, open up, sweetie. To get to get right us. Right up at the boat, right at the top. Oh, There's nose out. Yeah, again and again, the orcas came over to our boat, apparently as interested in us as we were in them. My passengers simply couldn't resist. They were petting wild orcas, now completely calm after their intense battle with the Brutus whale. The flat, calm water allowed us to see them with incredible clarity, and I have to assume it also allowed them to see us very clearly as well. With a huge cache of food below, they seemed content to dive, bring up chunks of meat, and play with the humans that had witnessed their triumph. I've been on the water tracking and photographing whales and dolphins for 19 years now. No matter what I may ever be lucky enough to see in the future, this experience will have to rank as one of the high moments of my life on the water. The Great Whale Conservancy was launched in 2010 to advocate for the great whales. They need our help and protection to survive. To learn more about our current efforts and find out how we can work together, please call or email us and visit the Great Whale Conservancy website.